Correct me if I'm wrong, but you were initially looking for three hundred thousand dollars for ten percent of your company, right? Yeah. So, so when they doubled that, and then you know, with twenty five percent, that would have been over double that. What was going through your mind? Was it ever a moment in your mind where you thought maybe I shouldn't take this deal? Yeah. So, you know, being a Shark Tank nerd, I am. There's basically this girl who creates a, she has an, a shareable Google Excel sheet and she tracks every single deal on the show and bases asking price based on what the valuation is. And the average deal, get, your company gets cut in half on the valuation. And an apparel company's, you know, on Shark Tank, it's not really open market rates at all. You're going to get a lot higher. You can raise a lot more, but going on the show, you're going to get about one to one and a half times your, gross revenue. So I had this all pre-planned and valued my company knowing that I would go down to a 1.5 million valuation. And statistically, I would have to double that to be able to get to that. Like kind of just kind of backed out a little bit to try to be like, hey, based on every other deal that happens on the show, I'm probably going to get, they're not, no one's going to come in there and be like, yeah, I'll give you 10% right away. I mean, maybe they could have, but I just don't, I didn't think like, being like a niche golf apparel brand, they would like every single shark would be jumping at it. Like, I think it was going to be a very niche, like try to get a, maybe one or two offers on it. So I kind of backed out the deal knowing going in that I would be comfortable going with 20% for the same amount. What is Robert like as an investor? How has he been helpful to you? How have yeah. you seen like the results come in? Yeah. So Robert uh, is great. I'm actually seeing him, I think it's Thursday. He lives here in LA too. Yeah. He's provided, I mean, I think he's provided really high level thinking we were talking about before we started, you know, moving the business to Arizona, I ran that by him and he was like, yeah, it's a great idea, you know, to save, to help grow, you know, save on taxes on ops really helps scaling the business. You know, we, we had a, a new retailer come in and they wanted to sell online. And I was, I, I've been very like adamant of like, I don't want bad birdie sold anywhere online other than bad um, just because we are, that's our main sales channel. And we do have some customers that are selling online that we're kind of phasing out. And, um, just kind of walking through that process, asking him feedback on that has been good. And then, yeah, just bigger picture. Like I think we're talking on Thursday, just about bigger picture, like, Hey, our company is thriving during COVID, which is crazy. And how are we going to continue to scale it? What are the next steps we can take to really develop a brand? I think for me, it's like, I did this company for three years without paying myself anything. It's been scrappy, but now like, Shark Tank's help just being where the company's at now, like this year was the year to kind of like prove the model and it's now starting to work to kind of start scaling. And so now it's like, okay, we see traction. How do we actually start doing that? What are the practical steps? Like, where am I spending money? How much inventory should I be financing? Like how much in certain, I would say riskier marketing, like sponsoring a pro or doing a bigger media buy with a publisher, like things like that. I think he'll be able to kind of help provide. And yeah, we're talking about this week, so. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out that clip. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're interested in hearing the full episode, it's out right now on our YouTube channel. We've had a lot of great guests come on this show before and we've got a lot of great guests coming up in the future. So hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And one final note, we're always looking for new ideas and new companies to feature on the show. So if you know of someone or know of a company, write us a comment down below letting us know who they are and what they do. We'd be happy to have them on the show. Till then, I'll just be here waiting for your comments. So, uh, see you later.